My name's Ian Marvey. I work for the Farm Service Agency of the USDA. Um, give you a little background, talk a little bit about some ideas, and then ask a few questions. Um, I started my entrepreneurial work when I was seven with my brother. We started a bakery business for a local cafe. I've basically been in the food service industry for the last 38 years um, since then, um, trying to figure out different uh, ways to both make money, grow community, and sustain the environment. So these conversations have been really exciting, uh, and I appreciate being part of that. In 2001, I started a project called Added Value in Urban Solutions. Some of you guys might know it as uh, Red Hook Community Farm, um, and I will uh, connect the dots there. By 2003, actually, let me ask you a question. Who kn knows when the cube happened, the square, the uh, iPhone thing? When did that happen? 2010, 11, 2008? So we piloted a cellular EBT machine in 2001 with the support of the federal government at our farmer's market. We piloted farm to school initiatives in 2003 with the help of the federal government. We did research with the help of the federal government on second grade uh, food behaviors and knowledge acquisition for a STEM, which didn't exist in 2003, um, as a a uh, federally funded project through the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. We started a food hub in 2003. We sold to seven local restaurants. We worked with nine local producers, and we were getting grants from foundations and from the federal government. Back when there were appropriations, we got support from Nidia Velasquez, who's been an enormous champion of urban agriculture for a very long time, from Heifer International, which was a foundation that was partnering with the government, and from our local and state government folks. Um, I would suggest that the current aversion to federal money has a lot to do with capital, and that there might be some people in this room who might feel differently about this, but the fact is I can say to you that the Farm Service Agency loaned out $8.7 billion last year to the agricultural economy, 300 million here in New York State. Um, and those are to people who actually don't qualify for, federal, for loans from banks, right? So we can't compete on the open market. So if you're credit worthy, we can't even loan you money. Yet we moved $8.7 billion through the agricultural economy last year. And that's just the Farm Service Agency. That's not the other 13 agencies and seven other weird projects that have offices that I don't even know. Um, I would suggest to you that like the DOD, which has money in agriculture, like the EPA, which has money in agriculture, like the DOE, the Department of Energy, which also has money in agriculture, that you should be looking for agricultural money from the government. Right now, we're loaning money at 3.2 to 5.1, so easily 4 to 2 points below market rate. Our micros are 50,000, our max is 1.3 million. We term out from one year to 25 years. We renegotiate and we have a higher success ratio than the for-profit market. So we are loaning to people who the for-profit market will not loan to. And we're getting a better return on our investment than the for-profit market. So, for those of you who are looking for venture capital who are in this business, I would say that take R50 first, prove your concept, go look for some venture capital to pay back your loan. Farmers do it all the time. Uh, Natural Resource Conservation Services, NRCS, is part of the USDA. They only do grants, but it's on a return. So you have to put up your $100,000 out front. Well, the USDA FSA loves that. You've got $100,000 in debt. You know you're getting paid back. I'm going to loan you that money because I already know the NRCS is paying you. In fact, we share offices in every county in the United States. We have 9,700 employees, and we share offices with them. So when they secure a grant for a farmer to expand their businesses at um, with a reimbursable payment, we would then take that cash as collateral 
and loan you the money to get your project done. Um, I also work on the local regional task force for the USDA. I work on the urban ag task force and I work on the organics task force. So that means the 17 agencies that get together. Um, so if you have a question about USDA, contact me. If it's a grant you're trying to figure out, contact me. If it's a loan you're trying to figure out, contact me. That's my job. I'm one of the only external facing employees of the USDA and I'm here to try and help you guys grow your businesses. Whether that's for profit, not for profit, for kids, for $40 microgreens. 